dear medicals we are having the proud to have dr dipya with us dam all student rank 19 with after getting double digit rank of 19 how you are feeling now uh, i am feeling very happy sir like suddenly when the results came i checked twice uh, i really got it and i'm very happy with my results and i'm glad that my hard work paid out that's great that's great but so we wish you on this platform on the behalf of dams family we wish you your family for this achievement and we will be using this platform like to discuss care what was the strategy beta like how you managed to crack this exam with this rank of 19 and what what like when you start this preparation beta and what how was your journey with dams sir i took i was a regular batch student uh, when i was in my third year dams uh because of lockdown i continued the online course uh in the dams and uh, in my internship i took uh, tnd for in a set for the november in a set for test and discussion practice and i now uh prepared all the notes and just glad that all my efforts worked out so beta getting this rank 19 you say you started your preparation in the third year when you start your preparation yes. in the third year lockdown so what was the experience of those lecture beta like live lectures we were having on the e medicals how you handled those lecture in that hard time of covid beta us time pe aapka pehla step kya tha jab aap live lecture attend karte the hamare sath uh sir i joined in uh, jan so, so for initial two months i had live lectures like i attended four classes live uh, the whole day stretch and soon after that lockdown was announced and uh, i used it as an opportunity for me uh, because in lockdown anyway we are not going anywhere outside so i had time to dedicate it completely to study no uh, deviation and that helped me also although i did miss a bit of live lectures but it was the best option for me in my covid time So, but in the first, in the third year, in the like your first year of preparation with dams, you write your own notes in the third year. What oh, was yes, the, sir. what was the role of those notes in this success? Sir, what was the role of those self-written notes in this success, brother? Uh, sir, uh, because I joined early, uh, bef- before the exam, I had so much time, and I could revise my notes many times. the complete notes and final in my internship i went to only test and discussions or previous year questions which have very high yield and which should not be missed i attended uh, dvt sessions all those that made me proper plan to watch uh, i have to focus more or what should i i shouldn't miss uh, but thankfully i had started early that helped me a lot in my preparation what i'm getting from your words ke like you started in the third year that was the best time and you focus you you just channelize the whole energy in covid on the making your own notes so beta third year me in you you make your own notes which you revise again and again in the final year which i'm getting from your words yes sir beta what was the role of those tnd like test and discussion in your success journey like how you handle in the final year you attended all these test and discussion so how matlab how it was possible for you as you being a mbbs final year student and you have completed your notes in the third year itself because what i am getting from your discussion ke the every student should take this this these words very sincerely ke third year is the best time to make your own notes if you have made your notes in the third year in final year you can focus on tnd and all other revision segment uh sir like tn uh, made me help like which areas i need to focus when we are reading notes we need every area but not sure like uh which way we are going wrong or some people might have more knowledge but uh, they fail in application part when actually question is asked so right. tnd helped me realize like where i am going wrong with the questions or sometimes i am just so fast and i don't read the question properly those type of mistakes by practicing lot of tnds which we shouldn't do in final exam at any cost they were all reduced because of using tnd and uh, i felt like more confident in the subjects uh, because when we write gts we don't know exactly which subject we are weak in but in subject tnds i know uh, i got less in this tnd so i i had to put more on that subject because in gt sometimes one one subject may be having more representation so the score may not alter much 
So, so by I'm, focusing I'm, on this TND side, it helped me a lot. I, I'm getting from your word that TND was a game changer for you. If I ask you, what was the game changer for this rank 19? Oh, yes, sir. So now bit, I, bit I'll give I, I, credit to DVT and TND. DVT and TND. Okay, I, I can say again, Dr. Divya's rank 19 is because of TND and DVT. Yeah? Like in ENT, we make the formula. So I can make a rank 19 formula like DVT and TND. Give you this rank of 19. Am I true? Yes, sir. It had great role in my education. Thanks for these words, beta. All the faculties, they, these words will just motivate all the faculties the effort we are taking in TND. And like I have seen many students, they postpone. Okay, TND we will do in the internship or post internship. So, but you have done, you, you, you are an example for those students. Okay, you have done those TND in the final year itself. That's great, beta. And final year, there was a big pressure of prof examination so how these tnd and your notes help in the final year beta prof exam i'm talking about prof examination notes uh, sir i did my graduation i am uh, a student of aims bopal so we didn't have the third prof year we had only uh, final prof uh, so we didn't even have the third year preparation all this opta ent everything will be coming in our final year exam itself so the uh, but also they have less weightage uh, these notes, like, they helped me a lot, especially for third year. Uh, final year, anyway, we have to go through everything. So I kind of managed both third year and final year in my in fifth, uh, final year. And Vita, coming in the internship, like in the internship, you revise your notes again and you appear for TND again. What was the strategy in the internship? Like, what which subject you focus more in the internship? Sir, I... I usually keep like uh, for short subjects, uh, I keep a week or uh, 10 days uh, for a long subject. Like I don't do it like a single subject a month. I do usually take two subjects or three subjects so that I don't get bored. I keep a timeline so that by this timeline, two, three subjects has to be over kind of. Uh, I used to combine like my favorite subject with one of my unfavorite subject or which I am weak at. So that I don't get distracted. I don't want to study. I don't need to get that feeling. So some of my weak areas I used to combine with my most favorite subjects. That made me good. And uh, I used to go with system-wise. Uh, path, pharma and uh, medicine I used to read together. That also helped me. Systemic point. My, I am, I'm getting from your word. Okay, you take a topic like CVS and you complete those uh, topics with path to pharma in the internship. And as a faculty, but I feel that in the internship, it is possible to do this integrated learning when you have done the basic homework. And the homework you have already completed in your third year and final year, you have completed all the notes. It means that somewhere in this success journey of rank 19, it was your early preparation and your self-made notes, which played an important role in the internship. Yes, sir. But after like this paper was atypical, I will say this need was a little bit atypical. How you will judge now? You are the best person to say comment on this paper. You are getting rank 19. So how was the paper? Sir, like uh, I would also agree with you. It is atypical because they focused on some areas a bit more. Like you get to see in the paper the same topic uh, at least repeated twice. Like if you know the topic, you get 8 plus 8. Or if you don't know, you lost those things. Like very high focus areas, you shouldn't miss at all. That's why for this paper, I had to definitely give credit to DVT. So those important areas you don't miss in the last round of your preparation. Because if that was missed in this exam, you will lose direct straight two questions for every topic. So nice. that is what I feel. So. so I was glad, like, even though some people read whole uh, of the notes together, if they don't do final round of revision properly, it would have been not good for them. Definitely. But you must have compared yourself with the other students at your college, okay? like those students who are running behind quantitative lectures or you can say bulky notes. Now, what you feel like you are saying in every feedback, you are sharing the DVT, DVT. So the role of DVT in this neat examination, because this is every student is saying okay, the paper was from DVT. So now you are the best person to tell us okay, what was the role of DVT in your neat examination, beta, this rank of rank 19. Yes, sir. Uh, like uh, 50, two, three weeks before my examination, I only did DVT and uh, PYQs. Because I'm after doing this much hard work, if I miss that basic questions or which were repeated or which were high, 
that is a very costly mistake is what i feel so yeah. i continuously revised it's so sometimes we forget but i think uh, if i forget from these topics it's not excusable so the pyq i did so much Come, coming on the pyq how was the pyq experience with us beta this year we came with all the important mcqs with a discussion so how those pyq sessions help you beta it helped me uh, i did previously also before announcing the pyq uh, i used to do the ppe kit uh, rather than that i enjoyed this pyq session more uh, and no maybe uh, at the same time somewhat so uh, the P, uh, we have to for the previous ppe kit for every year 10 questions again we have to do the video and that was little clumsy or troublesome for us students but uh, this pyq session like at a time for revision it is easy just you need to click on the subject go through all the mcqs and then it's like uh, i uh, when i actually remember that that gives me a confidence i remember this anatomy nicely i remember ent i could go and solve now all you you, you adapted for so rosenmuller that slide which was directly from the pyq we have discussed it it yes. behind it to be here for so rosenmuller that mcq was direct from pyq so yes beta yes it's a lot and we are sharing the, the success story of dr divya dams bhopal student our foundation student and now she is getting rank 19 and i i i thanks you beta you are giving very honest feedback ki we have to start as early as possible so that we can make our concise notes now beta last 2 3 years what i feel there was a you can say there was a comparison between the quantitative notes and like concise notes of dams so if i ask you okay, what was the role of these concise notes like you if like say i take my subject ent so i am giving you very concise notes in 30 hours what was the role of those concise notes but in the neat examination what do you feel those notes were sufficient or you have to add something extra no sir i felt for mostly like uh, for mostly they were sufficient if few questions will come out of and it's better to leave those not everyone will answer and it's not really a good way to focus for those few questions leaving out all these topics basic, basic questions i prefer concise notes so beta like in the last 2 3 years of covid like everybody is in the comfort running you your most of your friends from your aims institute they will be running behind okay we have to learn more we have to read more and somewhere the covid learning was different from the learning which we are doing now post covid era and now you are getting rank 19 so you are the best student to guide your juniors beta any special message for all the juniors across the country okay we should run behind quantity or we should focus on our concise notes Uh, sir like for quantity anyway they'll be preparing for their profs so during that time they will be anyway getting the coverage but when you are writing its prof is different from your uh, mcq exam you need to have this concise notes in in exam you need to recall the answer that is more important if you have lot of information but you didn't recall and you have only one minute time for each question in that short span of time to recover recall the answer uh, i think concise notes helps a lot you you know need to know all the key points that helps you like narrows you uh, where the answer is heading to and then you can quickly answer that even saves time for us that is also important in the exam that's good it's very true beta you are giving very honest feedback to all your juniors and i i feel ki every student every medic across the country listening to you and preparing for the next inict or uh, your neat examination they will be following your footstep so now beta any special message for the faculty so what was the role of dams faculties in your success journey uh, i would uh, like few subjects or to opta those are my very weak subjects and tushar sir saurabh sir they helped me lot uh, especially the short subjects they weren't taught much uh, so dams will be give you what is required for you and like you will uh, short subjects are easy to score in my view you get definite questions and they are easy to cover and if you read them properly you can get the whole point correctly long subjects it's not the same uh, even if you read you will miss out few questions so i think short subjects are very scoring and no one should miss short subjects and uh, that's uh, short subjects dams helped me a lot sir in my preparation and coming to the role of all the motivation given by dr sumeya dipti ma'am rest of the faculties what was the role of that motivation like in the last journey of these 2 3 years of preparation you must have some hard time where you are not studying your performance is not up to the mark so what was the role of dams family there beta 
uh, actually I had uh, in such phase in my internship, there were continuous duties for me and I couldn't read for like few continuous days. And uh, I was worried uh, when the, uh, they told like exam is coming on, I'm worried like, did I read enough or is it enough? Or uh, then I used to see Smurser's videos. Uh, they used to say like, it's never late to start a preparation. You can do it even now. So that kind of keeps me going. Yes, everyone is going through the same phase. It's just not me alone. So my part is at least I can do it from now. Whatever I get, I'll achieve. So I just what I thought. That's great. I do it have so many bad phases. We congratulate you for this rank. And at last, Peter, any special message for your parents because of whom you are here on this platform? Uh, I am really grateful my, to my parents, especially my father. Uh, they supported me a lot. They were very cool parents. They didn't pressurize me. They were like, do whatever you like to. That really helped me a lot. Uh, no pressure from parents is like a great relief for every student or every child. You Since can. they were like very motivating, stressing, it helped me to be remain cool even in the exam, which is important. So you convey our regards and wish them like big achievement for why. But I feel like your rank is 19. Is their success? Is their dedication? Their sacrifice because of whom you are getting this? So convey our regards and convey our wishes to them. And thanks, Dr. Divya, for coming on this platform, thanks. giving us this honest thing you about this neat examination and i hope every medical listening to you will be motivated for upcoming examination so thank you better thanks thank you sir